And having given a few questions, the first question is, what is your vision with the zero power outside of India? More, specific, more specifically, our Sandal says the electricity of North America. The person is by Androshadas, Rogan. Androshadas. Could you please stand? Ah, very good. The question is very good. The answer is difficult. <laughs> You see, what is your vision? My vision he asked. You see, my vision about zero water here in the United States. It is up to you to develop the vision of the Santor Christians incarcerated in the Indian situation. Rooted in Christ, as the Holy Father said, rooted in the traditions of St. Thomas Church or St. Thomas uh, Christians, you have to live a Christian faith in the United States. So your traditions will be that which you receive from the Pure of our church, but you will be living it in the life, life, uh, lively context of the United States. So I call upon you to imbibe the traditions of the Pure of our church and then live it here in America. The second question is, the Thiruvala church has been described by three pillars, Catholic by faith, Indian by culture, and Eastern in or Eastern by worship. How does Indian by culture apply to American converts? This is a beautiful question. How can you be Indian in culture here? That is the question. So I will say, you are Indian American by culture. You have Indian roots but live in America. How can it be that through your life it will become realized? We did not make our life as an automatic reality. It is naturally lived by you day by day, week by week, year by year, and then this culture will be really uh, a part of your life. The next question is, as Major Archbishop, how do you envision is the youth's role within the Thiro Malabar Church? I would say, as youth of the Diocese of St. Thomas in Chicago, you have to live your faith in a universal context. Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation in India, used to say, I am a citizen of the world. I am a citizen of the world. I will tell you this reality is applicable for, for every modern man today. Because the world has become really just one village. See, the whole world has become by the revolution of communication media, just a village, or just a city, or just one country. So everybody has to become a citizen of the world. So whether you are Indian American, or whether I am a pure Indian, or whether somebody else is uh, an American born and brought up and here, one of the first uh, settlers, or whether you are an African or uh, any other country, you come to become a universal citizen. Actually, the world is moving towards the vision of God our Father. God our Father created this world so that humanity may be united in Him. The whole humanity has to be taken up to God. And all of us have to take this sense of humanity in our lives. Who are many in this world? They are all our brothers and sisters. Don't think about their religion or culture or color or language. Everybody is a creature of God and we are all brothers and sisters. We are all brothers and sisters. 
you know that one day somebody asked why Rajiv Gandhi in India married Sonia Gandhi. Sonia Gandhi is an Italian woman. And then somebody gave the answer. You see, all the Indians are, in the school we have a oath, we say all Indians are our brothers and sisters. So, Rajiv Gandhi cannot marry a sister now, so his own sister. <laughs> that was the But I tell you, we are all brothers and sisters. We are all brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. So this reality has to be realized and you can become a universal citizen. The last question. This question was of uh, Alin Agassi and the former one was of Ken Mundaki. Daniel uh, Philip asked one question. What is the order of the Zeroan Park Church in the global Catholic community? And that is what I said, a role of word and deed. Jesus witnessed God's love here by his word and deed, by his word and action. So in our own words and deeds, we have to give a witness to the universal uh, friendship of humanity. Jesus united all humanity, so if you are able to understand all humanity in your uh, lives, that will be our mission. So don't think about the barriers of culture, language, race, and so on, but be generous to accept everybody as my brother and sister, which is the spirit of the gospel, and by and by you will understand your identity. I'm concluding because it is uh, becoming too late. I'm very happy to be with you this evening. And uh, you are all welcome to Kerala. And when you come to Kerala, come to Ernakulam. And if I am there, you can meet me. Because uh, people say now that you are not found in Ernakulam. <laughs> now if they are asking me in Ernakulam, I will not be there. Thank you. So let us complain like that. But still, if you come over there, and if you, will, you know that I am there, you are welcome. We can have at least a cup of tea with me, but usually we give lunch. So, for any, at any time, you are welcome, and all of you are real sons and daughters of the Siva Malabar Church. And I happen to be the father of all the children of the Siva Malabar Church. So, you are my children, my young brothers and sisters, welcome to the Center of the Suramal Vastas in Amarpulam, and I wish you all the best. May God bless you, and let your life be the real witness of Christian faith and love for all the, all your brothers and sisters in the United States.